hello welcome back to the channel so this week we were dealing or the last couple of weeks we've been dealing with the issue of the zucchinis getting eaten alive as well as the melon plants and the cucumbers so this little yellow bug I'll stick a picture up for you um, has been eating them and we've been trying to sort of manage that and the other problem is um, soil quality so as you know we don't have much soil the wood chip can take some of the nitrogen away so you try and keep the wood chip in the path and blah 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 keep it separate but we did put some in the beds because we had such little soil and we were hoping it was going to break down but actually what we're finding is um what we're finding is some of the plants that are really wanting nitrogen are just looking a little grim I mean, they're growing they just don't ever quite look their best and then the only ones that aren't really affected are the ones that are sort of nitrogen fixers so there you go we think we have a nitrogen problem so we have been trying to deal with that so anyway i'll roll the footage and you can just see what we've been up to so a couple of weeks ago i decided i wanted the back room of our house back and i wanted to get the trees out of the back room so we potted them on and they have been living either between the polytunnel or on a table under the trees sheltered because the polytunnel gets so hot still um so yeah this is us potting up all the sea buckthorn and the crab apple uh, I think most of them are doing alright. And again these leeks definitely need planting out. So I'm super happy with the broad beans. They seem to be coming up fine. They're nice and green. They look healthy. See at this point the sugar snap peas and the pole beans or runner beans are all starting to grow up and we even had a little volunteer potato and I was getting quite excited. Letty and I planted some more carrot seeds in the little patches where some hadn't come up so just again trying to get the best use of the space. So the brassicas have fared much better than I originally thought. Um, we do have a little bare patch here and Mark's got six red cabbage plants starts to put in here but for the most part the others have actually sort of bounced back and come up stronger so I do think I was perhaps being a little bit dramatic the other week. It's um, yeah, they're, they're, they're doing all right. So the footage here shows the little zucchini plants coming up, but they're not doing, they weren't doing fantastic at this point. And then of course those little yellow bugs have completely killed them. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's what we're finding. Planting anything from seed in this garden, it just doesn't give it much of a chance to get ahead, I feel. The other problem is one end got some soil this year and one end didn't so again it's just that lack of nutrients, lack, lack of anything really and there's probably far more wood chip here than there is soil. Planting leeks in the rain Marcus. This gate got left open a tiny bit there and then all of the sugar snap peas disappeared overnight. All that's left is a weed so I'm going to be doing some replanting yet again. Potatoes are doing well. are growing we've sown some more up here while we'd run out zucchinis are not doing well so as you can tell I've got these um, little yellow cucumber nasty thingies on here so I need to treat this uh, make a spray I do have a zucchini coming but look at it it's just crawling um, and unfortunately that's happened to everything so even the little ones coming up have been eaten, so at least I know what's eating them. But I'm going to be starting some indoors and transplanting out. And yeah, I've got to, I don't know if this can be even be say, there's so many on it. 
um, I need to come out here and make a spray up okay so I've made some homemade spray it is garlic pepper and chili powder and I've seen somebody else do this and they say it works but it is raining for the next week so I'm gonna put it on and see I might need to reapply a few times So that freaked me out coming out of my uh, plant pot. Not quite sure what he's doing in one of my tree plants. These are my little tree plants. What are you doing in there, mate? You hiding? So I keep seeing him. He's here all the time. It's his little house, isn't it? Where are you going now? No, I'm not sure quite what happened. To my tree but yeah he's uh, making off so these ones here are the prairie crab apple and these ones are the sea buckthorn some look a little worse for wear some look like something's happening we'll see we've been overcast and i think they actually need some and this is a new bunch of zucchinis I've planted got a mini lettuce harvest there ready to take up to the house that's good starting to eat out the garden which is nice finally trying to wage war I don't know if they'll survive, to be honest, they look so bad, don't they? So this morning I removed these leaves that just look so damaged so that there's um, plants that try and repair damaged leaves, basically. I was lost in a city dream was at home again beside the stream Then you walked past me And you saw me and smiled I will never forget the first time When I saw you I thought I lost my mind I've not been sleeping particularly well because it's been so muggy at night uh, and it's a homeschooling day so I figured I'd come out and do a bit of gardening before we start. You okay with that Ed? Yeah, I've just got to brush my hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think our beds are nitrogen deficient because the things that are doing well are the nitrogen fixers and we did put a load of wood chip everywhere and that does tend to rob the nitrogen because we have no soil. So we're just going to have a quick amendment and see um, if we can make it better. So we're going to amend the soil with an all-purpose fertiliser, bone meal and a blood meal. There is nothing in this world I wouldn't do I would walk a thousand miles So the other thing going on with these tomato plants is although I've taken the elbows out that had grown 
Uh, Marcus has actually since come back through and trimmed these heavily. I think I've got too many leaders going on. So again, it's just me learning how to manage the bigger plants. As I've said before, we know we've got not much soil and what soil we have is quite poor and there is wood chip mixed in as well. Um, so we have been making like a compost tea with the rabbit manure. So the rabbit manure can go straight on the garden. Obviously you don't probably want it round your lettuce, but um, it's quite, it's, it's fine from a nitrogen burn point of view um, to put it straight on the garden. So we have been putting that on, but how long it takes to get into the plant or how well you have to water it to get it into the plant, I'm not sure. Um, so again, this is just us trying to just do the best that we can here with the uh, situation. It is carrots that she sowed are coming up with some weeds, of course, you know. I am still waging war on these yellow things. Everything is greening up. We fed this with the blood mill and the bone mill. So hopefully a couple of days it might look a bit better. Something is eating the melons up there. And in fact, they looked awful yourself, but they were dead in the water. But they look a bit better this morning. But it's these yellow bugs that like the cucumber just they don't look like they're a game but these look a lot better these melons than the other end more, more rhubarb i don't know how long when we, we need to google when we can pick it i did read somewhere it's like two or three years and there's nothing pink really do, do, do you pick it when it's pink yeah unless it's always going to be pink rhubarb and I've got a lettuce going to bolt, and I might leave a lettuce going to bolt so that I can see <laughs> if I can get seed. Um, did you pick any? No. I think I was trying to. Should we too? Yeah. Okay. Mm, let's just see, shall we? There's like three here close together, so it might not be massive. Yeah, they don't look massive. We've had some nice ones out here, but. Mm. They don't look it. And you can generally see them. You can see the bugs. And the bugs are on here as well, Mummy. Are they? Bugs just everywhere. Just them. Mm. Bugs everywhere. Did you crush the fence? Shut, turn the power off. Will it spring back up? Uh, most likely. <laughs> Mind out, goats. Toy coming through.